now let's start the topic before starting the topic you have to know what is population what do you mean by the word by the term population so population means a group of individuals belonging to a same or specific species and they are residing and or defined well defined geographical area they are residing in a well defined geographical area they share or compete for similar resources thus constitute a population okay so what are the different attributes of population and also uh, here is a important uh, line the term interbreeding impl implies sexual reproduction but also if a group of individuals which are resulting from asexual reproduction can also considered as a population for the purpose of ecological study can be important in thinking population ecology is is a bridge or it links ecology to population genetics and evolution okay then what are the attributes of population first first attribute is birth rate second is death this is the important here these rates refer to per capita birth or death per, per capita means per person so how to calculate uh, birth rate birth rate means Here, if we are yeah. so birth rate, total number of births by total number of population. So, yeah. in a pond, if there are twenty lotus last year, and so reproduction eight new plants are added. So, what is the birth rate of this plant of this pond? Total number of births or total number of new species added is eight. Total number of uh, population is. Twenty. Which one for? If someone is asking you that express the birth rate, then you have to say zero point four offspring per lotus per year. It is the meaning of per lotus. Okay, per lotus. Similar for the death rate. If uh, for individuals in a laboratory population of forty fruit flies died, so total number of death. Four or four. Uh, total number of population is forty. So, what is the answer? Zero point five. Zero point five individuals per fruit fly. This per capita. This is important. Here. Per capita is very much important. Okay. And third attribute is age distribution. Third is sex ratio. Fourth is age distribution. Age distribution. So means. The percent of individuals of a given age group is plotted for the population, and by this you can get an age pyramid. Okay. There are three types of age pyramid are there. There are three types of age pyramid. One is growing, one is stable, one is decline. This is the expanding of growing reproductive age group then reproduction then post reproductive it is like this like this and this is a bell set this is stable this is decline okay another activity is population density this is five population density means total number of Population size or n is total total number of species deciding or uh, total number of species which uh, constitute the population. The number so if we have to calculate the appropriate population density or to measure the appropriate population density, we have to count each and every individual. There are five population attributes. Third one, first, birth rate, death rate. Age ratio, age distribution, population, age. Okay. But total number of species. But uh, to calculate the 
calculation of the total number choose is, is difficult no if, if there is a pond and there is uh, the lotus or the parthenium species are there so in 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 a, in a, in a, in a place there are many parthenium species are there or carotids are there so to cal uh, to uh, for determining for determining the population density you have to calculate the uh, number of parthenium but it is very much difficult now so in such cases the percent the percent cover or biomass is more meaningful is that for population density okay biomass whose biomass is more the number is again not an not an easily adaptable measure if the population is huge and counting counting is impossible okay if the counting is impossible you have to go for biomass estimation now also sometimes for certain ecological investigation no need to know the absolute population density relative densities serve the purpose equally because for example the number of fish caught per trap is good enough measure of its total population density there is another example tiger census in our national park how they count the number how they no uh, how many tigers are there in based on pug marks or fecal pellets okay they are not going to count each and every tiger just they just you see the pug marks and fecal pellets okay and then population growth population growth is not a static parameter okay so there are four factors which determine the population the four factors which can increase or decrease the population growth population density of the whole group you can say there are, these are first natality natality means number of births during a given period number of births so it should increase the population density mortality or number of deaths decrease immigration there is a important uh, trick let's see e e e so e the rows are like this so so it means some some species or some individuals are going out from the population going out so immigration will decrease the population density and immigration will increase the population density if so see here mortality in positive mortality negative immigration and immigration this is immigration if we express in a, if we express it in equation this is like mortality b plus i minus d plus e so population density will increase if this b plus i will increase b plus i is in more than the number of deaths plus number of immigrants okay so this one under normal conditions birth and deaths are most important factors because this two other factors immigration or immigration so under special conditions it will cause change in population density because if a habitat or a habitat is newly formed newly formed so immigration may cause it may contribute more significantly now uniform is increasing then further growth growth model or growth curve there are two one is exponential logistic exponential means it both based on the resource or availability of resources okay if resource is unlimited so if it is population density this time growth is like this just so if the resource is 
in the resources in like habitat are unlimited then the growth will be like this so what is the um, mathematical ex uh, expression so this bn dt is to bar per capita rate is bar bar per capita so that is into so bn dt is equal to r if we uh, want to express it in uh, exponential form in growth curve equation if you want to get exponential growth curve equation then just do the simple integration bn by n is equal to r dt simple integration at t equals to zero growth density is n not t equals to t density is n two so dn by n integral dn by n is equals to log n so log n two by n not plus six n two by n not is equals to n two by r two so n t is equals to okay so n t is equals to n not is equals to r two so you can do this if someone is asking you how this equation is done how this equation how this equation come from this it can do now see what is r r is r is called as intrinsic rate of natural increase because d, d minus d means birth per capita death per capita is called intrinsic rate of you have to remember this values now we are at r is 0.015 orbital 0.12 r value of human population in india was 0.0205 okay then another number exponential growth curve is geometric it is gsm and another growth curve is logistic in logistic growth curve so this is the current capacity it will be like you can ask me what is carrying capacity carrying capacity means there is written if in a given habitat if has enough resources to support maximum possible number beyond which no further growth is possible this maximum possible number is called as carrying capacity of this of this of this specific species in that habitat in logistic growth curve there is some phases of there some first is black phase initially black phase no visible growth then phase of acceleration or exponential growth block phase then deceleration then as as in total or plateau phase plateau phase means one the resources are not logistic growth curve means the resource there is the resources are limited it is the it, it is natural na resources are limited in our nature it is a sigmoid curve and it is known as varhas per logistic growth curve it is important what is the mathematical equation dn by dt is equal to rn in rn carrying capacity minus density by What is Darwinian fitness? You know, when a population evolves to maximize the reproductive fitness, reproductive maximize the reproductive fitness also called Darwin. Then there is a most important topic: population interaction. In a population, there are different individuals of the same species, but there, so their interaction may be interspecific or interspecific. species or interspecies interaction it can be interspecific interactions arise from the interaction of populations of two different species okay so different species population this last sign is mean this beneficial interaction means the organism is benefited from the interaction and minus signs denote that detrimental or uh, negative 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 impact on the on the organism 
and zero means neutral. No benefit, no loss, no harm. So now let's see what other different interactions are there. No? First is mutualism. Mutualism is positive, positive. And both organisms are benefited from each other. This is the important chart. You have to remember this. Competition. Just uh, look at the word competition. If uh, two students are competing with each other, they are they are causing harm to each other, na. So negative, negative. Predation means predator. So one is the predator, or another is the food. So whoever is the predator, he will get benefit. He will be benefited. So positive, and another word will be taken by the predator. Negative. Parasitism. Positive, negative, same. Conservation means species A is benefited, but species from species B, but species B is neither benefited nor affected. Amensalism means A is getting, species A is getting harm. Species B causes harm to species A, but species B is unaffected. Now, start up predation. Predation means positive, negative. So predator and prey. Predator is positive, prey is negative. What is the importance of predator? So predators act as conduits of energy transfer in tropic levels. A to B, B to C, C to D. So energy transferring from this from A to B, from B to C, from C to D. One importance. Another importance is they keep the prey population under control or in check. If there is no predator, the, uh, the prey population will increase. If there is no snake, the rat population will increase. No. But for predators, prey species could achieve very high population density and cause ecosystem instability. Okay. This is the Negative impact if there is no predator. There is an example of this statement. When we introduce a new species to a geographical area in which there is no predator of that species, so the new species will grow rapidly now because there is no predator. In the 1920s, early 1920s, prickly PR cactus introduced in Australia. Okay. Nearly to so there will be no so there will be no predator of this species. So it caused havoc by spreading rapidly. Just remember this example. How it was brought under control by uh, by uh, introducing a cactus spreading predator more. And this biological control methods, those control means predator, prey, prey populations is, uh, prey populations, prey population is under, is under control by the predator. This is the control method. This is adopting in, in agriculture field. That is another example. Predator also help in maintaining species diversity. Because if in a community, if it is a community, there is different A species, B species, C species. So different species are there. They will compete for, they will compete with each other, and competition resulting uh, uh, disappearance of a certain species in several of the features. So if uh, so, predator by introducing predator, it will reduce the intensity of competition among competitive species. Species, species okay. Example is rocky in, in intertidal communities of American Pacific coast. There is starfish called disaster is an important predator. Okay. It is an important predator. If we remove then and all the starfish are removed, if removed the predator, the prey the, the population will compete with each other, then there will there will there will be disappearance of some species okay more than 10 species extinct okay 
This is what I am saying. I am talking about to uh, evade or to uh, evade from the predator. Species have developed various defense mechanisms. This is camouflage. Some uh, there are some poisonous butterfly and there is some non poisonous butterfly. So non poisonous butterfly are is uh, the predator will eat the non poisonous one now. So monad butterfly will distaste full because special chemical. So interestingly, the butterfly which is more, which is more, more tasteful. It is uh, acquires this chemical during its caterpillar stage by feeding on poisonous food. So some other butterfly will um, look like monarch butterfly. Some other some other butterfly will look like monarch butterfly. So the predator species bird will not attack them. There is one in, in for plants, herbivores are the predators. Nearly 25% of all the insects are known as herbivores. Means they are feeding on plant sap, the plant juice. So, in plants also there are some modifications or some defense mechanisms are there against herbivores. These are morphological and chemical different Morphological means uh, thorns are the most common morphological means in acacia and cactus and in chemical calotropies uh, produce cardiac glycosides or they have cardiac glycosides that's why cattle and goats never that is the goats are never going to eat them and also uh, 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 and also they produce a different different uh, chemical substances like nicotine, caffeine, quinine, stricin, opium. These are all important questions against razors and browns. So predation is um, plus, plus minus importance of predators, converts for energy transfer, keep free population under control. This is the example. Also reducing the intensity of which is the also importance, and this is the example of flash. What are the different mechanisms to hit the to hit from predator? When it's kind of flash, all is different adaptation or different changes in plants, morphological chemical changes. And second interaction is competition. Competition is negative. Okay. Struggle for existence, Darwin, Darwin theory. So this is the important question. Interspecific competition is a potent person. Okay. When compet when, when did competition occur? Competition occurs when closely related species compete for same resources. That is limit. That is same resources. That is limiting. Limiting. Same with limiting resources. Okay. Why? Why this is not entirely true? First example. Totally unrelated species can also compete, compete with each other for same species. Example, in some, so this is interspecific competition. South American lakes, flamingos and resident fishes compete for less common food. Okay. So what is the common food? So, secondly, Resources need not be limiting for competition. Hmm. What is interference competition? Means this is feeding efficiency of, of one species might be ready due to interfering and inhibitory presence of the other species. So if there is two species up there. The feeding efficiency of this species A is reduced due to the presence of this species A. Another example, this is called interference. Inter because of the because of the interference of B, the feeding efficiency of A is reduced. So, what is the best definition of competition? Best defined as a process 
in which the fitness of one fitness means in terms of its r value intrinsic rate of increase is significantly lower in presence of another stress so another stress okay there is important experiment goes this competitive release what is competitive release no no let's see in competitive release when the resources are limited so completely superior species will eventually eliminate the completely inferior species na this a big john tortoise became extinct in within a decade after goats are were introduced so goats are the superior species of of this competition and i mean not only that and serious because those goats have greater grass nutrients so the stores are slower and what is competitive niche phenomenon this competitive is a species which distribution is restricted to a small geographic area because of the presence of completely superior species is how to expand its distribution range dramatically and the competitive species is going to be removed Competitive release means if there is two species A, species A, species B. It is a inferior species. It is superior species. Species A is limited. This is a this area. There is there is there is species B is there. So, so the restrict so the this um, A is rest is restricted within this area. If we experimentally remove species B, so there is no competition. So species so now species A. will freely roam around this area also so there is release of this competition this is called competitive release and should know another example example is this connell's elegant hill experiment on a rocky sea coast of scotland completely superior vernacular baronus dominate it's the intertidal area it excludes the smaller vernacular tasamalus from that zone if we eliminate experimentally eliminate this dominant one so this inferior tasamalus will expand now what is competitive exclusion principle what does it say it states that two closely related species competing for the same resources cannot coexist indefinitely and completely inferior one will be eliminated eventually and this is natural there is two closely related species and they are competing for the same resources it is not possible that they uh, they coexist with each other it can it can't be possible it can't it can possible Not coexistence. It is called resource partition. Means partitioning of the resources. If two species compete for the same resource, they could, they can, they could avoid competition by choosing, for instance, different times for feeding or different foraging patterns. So, the scientist MacArthur, he showed that high closely related species of warbler, warbler, high closely related species can coexist. Due to behavioral difference in their foraging, this company. Now, passing, passing also negative. You can read this. You know, then you know the human level. Just uh, remember the example. Uh, another one, another important time is fruit parasitism in birds. Parasitic birds lay its egg in, in the nest of its host, and let the host include. It is the same in the same to one to two. What is common solution? Positive. One of the all organisms will be benefited from this introduction, but another one is unlikely. There is interesting image. One species benefits, but another is neither harm or pain. Not good. Example is orchid growing on epiphyte 
air plant or man they are they take their they uh, take their um, nutrition from the air man go back benefits going on the back of the well benefiting by another one of the well okay. this is this is on example the cattle agreed and grazing cattle in close association okay. so orchid is positive this is zero this is zero this is positive the, this is positive this is. another example is sea anemone and plant fish because sea anemone has stinging tentacles so none is going to attack it but mm, so this plant fish gets protection from the predators to stay away from the stinging tentacles so it is zero this positive another this uh, this negative and it mutually is one positive quality both the species are benefited both the species are benefited the interaction confers benefit of both the interacting species okay another one example is lichen fungus and algae mycorrhiza are associated between fungi and the roots of higher plants this is another example this fungi in fungi fungi help the plant to absorb essential nutrients from the soil but uh, in return uh, plant provides the food highly avoided okay this is important most spectacular evolution in facility examples of mutualism are found in plant animals so there is the important this uh, interaction between fig flowers and wasp this is important this is important this is important in many species of fig fig trees there is a tight one to one relationship with means a given fig species can be pollinated by its only by its partner wasp species no other species okay and the female wasp uses the fruit not only as an oviposition egg laying site but uses the developing seeds within the fruit for nourishment of the larva so both are benefited from each other another example is orchids so a bewildering diversity of flower patterns orchids and bees mediterranean orchid or ophirus which employs sexual species to get pollination done by means one petal of its flower bears an uncanny resemblance to the female of the insect so male bees attracted to the to the petal that's it so i'm going to question to this is list the attributes to discuss earlier in just in the beginning just discuss first is birth rate death rate sex ratio age sorry 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 distribution population density the population growing exponentially double in size in 3 years what is the intrinsic rate of increase r so you know that nt is equals to n not into it be your rt so nt is equals to double in size so 2n not is equals to n not e so to take log on both sides so log to choose log e rt so rt is equals to log 2 by log e r is equals to the three years log two is equals to log two by six by three and log two hello log is zero point six nine three something zero point two three one to so name the different uh, important different mechanisms there are two types of different mechanisms na no? one is morphological one is chemical it is written one is morphological one is chemical morphological means thorns and chemical means calotropies and uh, calotropies produces cardiac precursors and the uh, other chem chemical uh, substances like nicotine caffeine quinine strychnine and opium you can answer from this you can write your answer from this from an orchid plant is growing on the branch of mango orchids is a epiphyte an air plant 
it will it will take is the nutrition from here so it is positive zero so it is don't say what is the ecological principle behind biological control method question six means predation define population and community population we know what is population population means a, means a group of individuals individuals of a same species residing in a specific well defined geographical area and they compete or share the same resources with each other okay this is what a population is and if you say community community means first individuals then population then community means different population will, will uh, build a community in population group of individuals of the same species are there but in community we can say group of individuals of different species because different populations um, different populations will uh, when uh, assemble together it will make a community so in uh, it can so community can be defined as group of individuals belonging to different species so it also live in a certain geographical area okay this is common common socialism means it is a population interaction in which one species is benefited and another is neither benefited nor affected is unaffected okay For examples you can say an orchid growing on the branches of a mango tree parasitism it is interaction between two species interspecies or interspecies interactions in which both the one species is benefited and another is harmed For examples there are different examples liver soup is a living parasite which lives within our body and also derives its nutrition from our body but it causes harm to our body camouflage is it a defense mechanism is a defense mechanism taken up by the prey to escape from the predator For example monarch butterfly tasteless monarch butterfly and tasteful some other butterfly mutualism positive positive both the species are benefited from each other okay. means a benefits b b benefits a For example fig tree was orchid material orchid and b what is inter specific competition competition between two species it is a competition between between two individuals belonging to different species belonging to two different species from this competition part you see clearly you then see then competition this unrelated species could also compete for same species so this is for inter species example competition between the resident fishes of uh, american lakes and visiting having those for same food jokum okay you like the logistic logistic means resources are limited so this end this thing you getting close to it should be like this log phase black phase log phase this is deceleration or declining phase it have to plot to phase work plot to phase sigmoid group for parasitism means position is one other is may be right yes no i am going to be no 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 this this is the this keep on characteristics of the population characteristics means is this are only birth rate death rate security your distribution you can uh, describe this better than me because just uh, uh this part so first write what is population then describe its characteristics characteristics or attributes same question
never uh, forgot to mention per capita value in uh, when we are when you are describing birth rate or death rate okay per capita value is very much important in for those two uh, for that's for today best of luck